Hi everyone, Henry here. In this video, we're going to learn how to transfer images and signatures from Power Apps to SharePoint. Now, the reason why this is a bit more difficult to do is because Power Apps does not have a default way to edit and upload images to SharePoint. For example, what I have here is my expense app that I've used before. Uh, basically, this is a gallery that attaches to this SharePoint list over here. And if I select anything in this gallery, it basically updates this form on the right hand side. I can then go in this form and edit it. And whatever I want to edit is over here. Now, if I go in this SharePoint list and I add a column called images, which I've already done. Well, it's actually called signature, but it's an image column. It's an image column. And if I go over here to my Power Apps and I try to add that into this form, so I'll click Edit Fields, Add Field, Signature. You'll notice that I can add it, but I won't be able to do things like upload images to it. If I click Edit, for example, I can edit everything, but I can't actually update the signature's image. And it'd be nice if, for example, if I was doing this on an iPad, if I could actually use the screen to type in or to write in a signature before I submit this record. But unfortunately, I'm not allowed to do that. Or it's not that I'm, allowed, it's not, that I'm not allowed to do that per se, but it's just Power Apps does not have a functionality for it. So Power Automate comes to the rescue and helps us out. So here's how we can do that. First things first, we need a way for a user to actually submit an image. For example, this would be an expense receipt and a, draw a signature, okay? So what we're gonna do is, if, I've already done the basics of this. So if I click the plus sign, which adds a new expense report, and if I click the check mark, we actually get this square box pop up. If I go back, nothing happens, but if I click submit, the expense report goes through. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to add in an ability for a user to upload an image and to draw a signature. So let's go to input over here. Actually, let's go to media and then we'll go to add picture. So this control allows us to basically add photos. So we'll stick that guy in here. Okay, perfect. And we'll also add in a input or uh, let's see, where is it over here? Pen input, there we go. This allows us to draw our signature. Let's make this model a bit bigger as well. So we have more space to do this. Perfect. We'll move this guy down and this guy down as well. So we can make these a lot bigger. Okay, perfect. And then we'll add some labels below just to show everyone what we're doing. So over here will be upload receipts. And on the right hand side, it will be, you know, sign. Because we wanna make sure that people don't upload fake receipts or anything like that. So we wanna put their name to it. So we'll say, please sign. Okay, perfect. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a Power Automate flow that basically takes, when we click Submit, that takes the picture from the upload receipt control and the signature control and uploads it to our SharePoint expense receipts and signatures document library, okay? Again, no way to do that in Power Apps directly, so we'll use Power Automate to do that. So let's click New Flow. We'll go to Instant Cloud Flow. We'll select Power Apps as the way to trigger this flow, and we'll call this Upload Stuff, okay? Let's click Create. And what we'll do over here is we'll go to our SharePoint connector. We'll select Create File. And we need a site address, which we'll choose and for me, this is called expense receipts and signatures. So I'll find that folder path in here. Perfect. 
Now the name of the file, we probably want the name of the expense report, or sorry, the expense receipt, and the signature to be identical to the name of the actual title of the expense receipt. So what we're gonna do over here is we will ask Power Apps for the name. We'll also go to File Content and we'll need, File Content basically refers to the actual image you're uploading, and this we'll need to ask Power Apps for as well. So we'll click See More and select Ask in Power Apps. Okay, perfect. We'll then click New Step and we'll do the same thing again because we need one create file for the actual expense receipt photo and one for the signature that's going to be uploaded. Okay, so let's click SharePoint again. We'll then click Create File and then go back to what we were doing before. So Toronto Expense Receipts as Signatures. Name of the file will stay the same as what we had before, so we don't need to mess with that. So if we go over here, we can just click Create File File Name, but the file content will be different, so we need to ask for that within Power Apps. Okay, so let's select Ask in Power Apps. Okay, perfect. We've created our workflow. Okay, now the last thing we need to do is we need to connect Power Apps to Power Automate. So if we click this, if we select Add a New Expense and select the check mark, we get this model again. Now, if we click the Submit button, all this model does is it submits the form and then sets the visibility back to false, so we go back to the main screen. What we also need to do is we need to activate this flow. So let's copy all of this and then we'll cut it just so it's saved in our clipboard. We'll then go to Action, click Power Automate, and we'll select Upload Stuff, which is again the Power Automate workflow we had just created. It'll then actually import that into our Power Apps. Perfect, it's in here. And we need to define a bunch of arguments that we've specified within Power Automate, right? The first argument, uh, that we need to specify is the actual file name that we want to call it, which for in our case will be equal to the title of the expense report that we're submitting, which is stored in data card value one. Okay, so this will just be equal to data card value one dot text. Okay, we then also need the actual image that of the receipt that we're uploading. And we can see over here that that image is uploaded image one. So we'll type in over here, uploaded image one dot image. And then over here in the signature, if we look at that, it's called pen input two. And good thing, pen input two also has an image property as well. Okay, and then we will submit or paste all of the other um, commands that we had before. Okay, perfect. And we probably want this to be actually last in the step. So let's put this at the very last over here. Awesome. Okay, now this is where th things get a little bit tricky. And by a little bit tricky, I unfortunately mean very tricky. Thing is, if we actually submit this, technically what should happen is that the uploaded image one dot image and pen input two dot image should pass through the workflow and it should be the file content over here that's created. So it should pass through the workflow and then it should actually pop up in here. However, unfortunately, Uploaded image one dot image doesn't actually re refer to the image itself. It refers to a path that Microsoft has made for it to know where to upload the image, right? So it's not really the actual image code itself. It's a random path that you don't have access to that only Microsoft has access to. And you can't give a random path over here to file content. It just won't work. The image will be saved, but it'll be some random text file that you won't be able to understand. So we need to make a few arrangements to this. And I have copied the code over here. And what I'll do over here is as I go through, I'll explain it. So 
This is going to be a bit long, so let me make this a little bit bigger. But the first thing we need to do, and we need to do this for each image, is we need to create a variable. So we'll create a variable called var image one. And that will be equal to the JSON representation of the uploaded image. So uploaded image one dot image. Okay, perfect. And what we'll also say over here in the JSON is we want to include the binary data. Okay, what we'll then do is we will take the output of this function, right? JSON uploaded image one dot image include binary data, which is stored in var image one. And we will create another variable called var image trimmed, which basically takes var image one and chops off the ends of it. And how you chop off the end of it is you use the mid function. So mid var image to length var image minus two. Okay, and let's just call this var image one because it should be var image one. And there we go. So what we're doing over here is we're taking uploaded image dot image and we're converting it into basically a URI, okay? So basically a piece of code that's stored in text form that represents what the image actually is. We're then taking that and stripping out the first two characters of that text and the last two characters of that text because those are just format identifiers that we don't need. So we've done that for uploaded image one dot image. So we're just going to replace this guy over here with var image trimmed. Okay. Okay. Let's do the same thing for the signature. I'm going to copy this and then paste it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to just replace all of these. So pen and put two images, what we need to put in here now. Okay, and let's call this var sig one. So that means we have to change this to var sig one, change this to var sig one, and this will be var sig trimmed. So we have to put that in here. Okay, perfect. So far so good. Oh, whoops, let's just fix this. Okay. There we go. So far, so good. So now what we send power automate is not the actual pathway to a random image or a random pathway to an image that we can't understand, but instead the URI code of the image itself, which is basically the textual representation of that image. Then here, what we need to do is we can't just pass that textual image. Instead, we need to convert the URI code that we receive here into binary code that SharePoint can read. All files are binary code, right? So what we need to do over here is let's X out of this. We'll go to expression and there's a function that converts URI to uh, binary. Let's see if I can find it right here. No, it's not URI component, data URI to binary. Okay, it even says here, the data URI to convert to binary. All right, so in this expression, that's where we'll put in the uh, create file file content. Okay, and we'll put that into the file content element of this action. And we'll do the same thing here. Perfect. Dynamic content, let's go over here. And this is create file to file content and click OK. And then let's just click save. All right, awesome. The one thing we have left to do is to make sure that this is not named the same thing, right? Because over here, we want this file name to be the image. Here, we want the file name to be the signature. So. Over here, what we can do is we have the actual string that gets put out. 
let, let's put then underscore image dot JPEG. And actually let's make this dot underscore receipt. And this will be underscore signature dot JPEG. Okay, let's save that. Okay, and now let's try it out. So let's click play. We'll start off with the new expense report over here. And this one will be, for example, a new iPad. And it'll be the amount of $400. The category will be technology related. And over here, um, we can turn urgency on, but we don't have to. Let's click the check mark and add these pictures and the signature. So I'll, here's the receipt for me. Okay, perfect. And now what I need to do is I need to sign so I can basically go like this over here. And again, this would be a lot better on an iPad or a phone, but hey, a computer signature is valid too. We can then click submit. And there we go. So now the first thing we should see is if we go to our expense submission SharePoint list, we should see that line item being created which we do, it's right here, new iPad, $400. But in addition to that, if we go to expense receipts and signatures, we should see new iPad receipt, new iPad signature. And this corresponds again to the title of the expense report we have just created. And these are real images. <laughs> you know, we can actually see them. Whereas um, if you were to do it the old fashioned way, these would just be text files instead. And you have the signature as well. So think about how powerful that is. You now have a way to create an application for people to take photos and signatures and put them into your Power Automate workflow to do anything. In this case, we're using them to store it in document libraries, but you can use it to do whatever you want, put it with Airtable, to inject in a Power BI report, really anything you want. The key thing that we learned today here is how to move data related to images and signatures from Power Apps to Power Automate. Awesome. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.